And now it's time to revisit one of the greatest instances in marketing in product history. That's right, I said one of the greatest. Controversial, sure. Caused anger? Yes. But in 1985, when Coca-Cola reintroduced Coke as... New Coke, yes it did uh, make a lot of people angry, certainly, and then some months later they brought back uh, Coca-Cola as Coca-Cola Classic, but in just that move it put Coca-Cola back on top, boosted their sales, and a lot of people were wrongly under the impression that when they brought back Coca-Cola as Coca-Cola Classic, that suddenly then got rid of New Coke. No, it stayed on the shelf for quite a while, way longer than Crystal Pepsi did and Pepsi Blue and some products like that. Coca-Cola, or I'm sorry, New Coke, was around a long time, eventually renaming itself Coke 2, which in some markets was around until the early 2000s. I think at least up in Canada, I might be wrong on some of this, but I think at least in Canada you could find Coke 2 in stores in like 2002 or 2003. Now I had done an episode on New Coke before way back nine years ago I think when I started this show and it was a, it, it, it was a, a much older bottle and I did uh, Coke 2 as well on that episode. So now that they have brought back New Coke it'll be it'll be nice to have it not decades old and as you can see they even got the original design on the can right there we all remember that in 1985 the cans of new coke looked like this and also advertised stranger things on <laughs> on the back of it and that's why they brought it back they brought back new coke as a tie-in with the upcoming season of stranger things i am all for this uh i am all for this happening uh maybe uh IHOP can rename themselves International House of Burgers again to tie in with the next season of, uh, uh, I don't know, Santa Clarita Diet. Or not, because I think that show was canceled. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try this uh, new can of new Coke. That's what it should be called. New, n <laughs> new, new Coke. Mmm, mmm. That is definitely Pepsi. <laughs> See, that's kind of what I remembered about New Coke. Not that it exactly tastes like Pepsi, but while it was controversial when it when it came out and, and certainly made a lot of people angry, in our house that that wasn't necessarily the case. Not that I was drinking a lot of soda in 1985, but my dad was a huge Pepsi drinker and liked a sweeter um, and liked a sweeter soda like like a Pepsi product so when coke was changed to new coke he actually preferred new coke over uh, a regular coca-cola just cuz he and that's that's basically where it came from was the fact that they Pepsi was climbing high in the sales and are at least coming close to or surpassing coca-cola so they wanted to make a sweeter tasting drink to, t to tie in with pepsi and while while it doesn't while it's not exactly the pepsi taste necessarily it's close it's close to it it's sort of it's sort of it i can it kind of is if you just added maybe some sweetener or like you know some packets of sugar or something like that to like a regular can of of coca-cola and it's not that it's bad it's this isn't a bad soda at all i mean i i love coca-cola and i do love pepsi too um and it's not even that this is bad i i understand i understand people getting upset when it happened not necessarily that this drink tasted bad but i get it because it replaced another drink so it makes sense why when Coke Classic came out that they still kept this drink around because it doesn't taste bad at all. It they they, sh they should really stick it st keep it around uh, now that it's come back or do like Crystal Pepsi does and sort of just re-release it as like a limited time thing throughout throughout each year. I still stand by what I said. Whereas like this, I think is <laughs> oops, sorry, Chloe. Whether it is like whether any of it was intentional or not. 
it was a marketing move that did pay off for him at the end. To go back to IHOP and the International House of Burgers thing, yeah, a lot of people made fun of him for that, but the company was trending online because of it, and other fast food restaurants were jokingly so putting the word pancake in their name in all of their social media accounts. Burger King jokingly changing their name to Pancake King. That's some delicious free advertisement right there. Whoever came up with that deserved a promotion and a raise <laughs> at, over, at, uh, over at IHOP. So, yeah, get your hands on a can of uh, new Coke. It's cool to try it again after all these after all these years. And in, and in my case, it's nice to have <coughs> it's it's nice to have a can of it that uh, that isn't a couple of decades old. <clears throat> all right, well. I gotta get back to work. This has actually been a very distracting episode to film because I'm <laughs> I'm uploading and rendering an uncut version of the 10-inch Mutant Ninja Turtles Cinema Snob episode for the for the Pornhub account. So as I've been drinking this, I got like turtle dick like right there. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Meow.